It's a bird. It's a plane. It's the wrong company. Oh shit. Uh, with great comic books comes great misconceptions. Yeah, that'll do. Oh crap. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Myths, the series that finds the biggest myths that people actually believe and dispels them one by one. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. In today's installment, we'll be counting down the top 5 myths about Marvel that should be Hulk smashed. Myth number 5, Marvel hates DC and vice versa. As of right now, we are at war. While fans love to pit the big two against each other, the companies in question don't quite feel the same. Just look at their shared history. In 1996, the DC vs Marvel Comics crossover event saw the two companies pitting characters against each other, much to fanboys' delight. At the end of it all, they came together under the Amalgam imprint for a series of stories about hybrid Marvel DC characters. In 2001, Stan Lee presented his own spin on famous DC characters as part of a parallel Just Imagine universe. So even though there may be rivalry behind the scenes, in the public eye there seems to be peace between the two companies. But I always say, keep your friends rich and your enemies rich and wait to find out which is which. Myth number four, Jack Kirby sued Marvel Comics. In a way, he is somewhat the messiah of comic artists. Now, if we want to talk about bad blood within the comic book industry, there are a few feuds more prolific than Jack Kirby in Marvel Comics. For the uninitiated, Jack Kirby is widely considered as one of the most influential figures in the industry, having co-created countless iconic characters alongside Stan Lee. Historically, however, Kirby's contributions went largely unrecognized, both financially and legally. This feud has grown to legendary status to the point where many now believe Kirby and Marvel had lengthy legal battles. In reality, Kirby never sued the company. And while his heirs eventually wound up in court with Marvel, according to fellow comic book writer Kurt Busiek, it was Marvel that sued the heirs after they filed for a termination of copyright assignment. We won, Captain. Myth number three, Marvel has always reigned supreme. We're not interested in feeding the flame war. The more quality comic book content across various media from different publishers, the better. But there's no denying that, after a quick tally of monthly sales and box office figures, Marvel is the undisputed industry leader. Know your limits, Master Wayne. Batman has no limits. And with a few notable exceptions, Marvel Comics have consistently outsold DC Comics since roughly 1966. Before that, however, DC held the crown. <laughs> Are you serious? It might be hard to fathom considering their recent success, but in 1996, Marvel filed for bankruptcy and very well could have disappeared for good. Thanks to the major gamble that was taking a more active role in movie making, they are now the juggernaut that we know today. <laughs> Myth number two, Marvel only makes superhero comics. Is that all you got? If Marvel has once again become a household name, it's because of their cinematic universe, with its impressive output of films that have kids worshipping comic book characters like never before. For this very reason, people tend to assume that Marvel only publishes superhero comics. But that is not the case. This is a surprise. As you are likely aware, Marvel is a property of Disney, and since the more recent acquisition of the Star Wars franchise, Disney has moved Star Wars comics from longtime publisher Dark Horse Comics to Marvel. Marvel was also behind the Dark Tower comics, which served as a prequel to the famed Stephen King fictional series. Myth number one, Stan Lee started Marvel. I should be on that list. Stan the man, Excelsior Lee, there's no bigger figure in comics than he. Stan Lee and Marvel are synonymous, so much so that many actually believe he founded the company. I mean, seriously, how else could he have scored all those cameos? In reality, however, he started small and worked his way up from the role of office assistant at Timely Comics, which would eventually become Marvel. You can forgive the mistake, however, as from an outside perspective, one gets the impression that Stanley single-handedly shaped the company. I guess one person can make a difference. And while he certainly did contribute his fair share, some, like artist Dave Baker, feel he was simply the loudest voice among his equally, if not more, essential peers, including Steve Ditko, Joe Simon, and the aforementioned Jack Kirby. Oh, man. I am so fired. So which of these myths did you believe? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.